Alright YouTube, what is going on? It's High Tower 5000 here. Today we're bringing another episode of Road to Max. They're on to episode number 23 now. And we're starting off in the Grand Exchange yet again. So in this episode, I've just came on. I've got lots of stuff that I need to do. I'm very close to a few levels. What I'm tend to be doing is basically getting myself close to a few levels. Right now, just because how my week is sort of based out. I work two days, then I'm off one day, then I work two days, then I'm off two days, and it continues like that. So... Instead of a five day week, we'll have a two day, then a day off, and a two day. So it's not too bad, but usually in the two days that I'm off, I usually go home right now. And then the other day, I'm usually spending time with my girlfriend. So it means that I'm usually coming in playing RuneScape after work right now, which does mean I'm quite tired. So I'm not always in the mood for making videos. So what I've been doing is I've just been going ahead and getting close to levels. And for a time like this, I'm going to go ahead and get levels. So anyway, we're going to start off today talking about some stuff. Just some of my dailies, I keep getting this Seren Stones one, this is probably the easiest daily to do. It takes me about 10 minutes and it's really AFK, Seren Stones in general are AFK. Just mine 50 of these, you don't even have to get 50 rocks actually, you only need to get about, well it doesn't really matter how many you get. As long as you get the XP 50 times you complete that daily challenge. Now that is very significant right now because I'm only 7k away from getting a level. That'll be level 94 and uh, that'll be us about 70% maybe 65 percent actually of the way to 99 now i've also gone and complete myself a rune spam one as you know i do go ahead and do all my rune spam ones just because rune crafting is so fucking slow but over the past maybe two or so weeks what i've been doing with all my keys is near enough been getting stars actually and what i've been doing with them stars is going ahead and put them towards rune crafting so hopefully you can see there i have 126 bonus a thousand experience in rune crafting now that was at 180, but I used quite a bit of it up to date getting this daily. So you might get two levels here, we'll definitely get mining. Should get rune crafting, I can't really remember how much XP I get for this daily. I know this uh, mining one does get me more than 7k, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and turn these in. And let's get our episode started off to a good start. So that's 18k, which in all fairness isn't a lot, but as we know the task isn't very difficult. If you mine certain stones like me, then it doesn't take you long at all. And it looks like we've got 57,000 as well for doing the runecrafting one. So we're 3k away, which is just really, really frustrating, actually. But that is the mining level. So that is us now only five levels away from 99, which is pretty mad. Before they actually brought in certain stones, I was going to have to do Living Rock Caverns all the way to 99. And in all honesty, Living Rock Caverns, that really put me off. And I thought, okay, mining's actually probably going to be one of my last 99s, I felt, at that time. Now it's definitely going to be one of my neater ones. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is set this to level 95. Now I'm not at all sure. Jesus Christ, over 800k to the next level. That is going to take, to be honest, not too long actually. But it's just a thought of 800k, getting 800k in any skill. It's just like, whoa, that's a big thought. Because I'm used to only maybe a few hundred thousand at a time. 800k isn't just a few hundred thousand. But we're already 1% of the way there, thanks to the daily. And over time, I guess I'll get that started and I'll continue going through that. For, unfortunately, runecrafting, we're 3k away. So what I might have to do is pop back to rune span. However, we do have some keys. So we might as well go ahead and go and use them. Now, we've done something with the keys as well. I'm not at all sure what this bar is up here. I think it means that it's more consistent for getting certain drops. So if I just go ahead and open this up here then basically every time you use a key that bar goes up and then eventually when it gets past either the rare, ultra rare or mega rare can actually cash in on an item in that rarity which is actually really good so it makes it a lot more consistent anyway however it's not really taken into consideration uh, the purple one which I don't even know what rarity they're called but that's what I'm going by them that'll be like ultra ultra rare I guess you could say anyway first star here we've got hunter one not too bothered radiant energy is pretty shit then another pessimistic star so I've been getting a lot of these uh, but I've been using all these towards rune crafting anyway and that's why I've gained up so much bonus XP anyway so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move on so I will have to probably now take a wee trip down to rune crafting however 3k will not take too long Levels that I've got to get, I'm very close to a crafting level as well, which we're going to go ahead and get now. I'm also very close to a fishing level as well, we're only 4k away from that as well. And that will only mean one more level until rock tails, which I know rock tails aren't very fast, but they are good AFK money and I'm needing them for an upcoming video. So I'm just going to strum away on the harp for a few minutes and I'll join you in a second. So one interesting thing actually before I do get level is, if you see my XP counters, basically... 
this here has not really been changed in a very, very long time. So as you can see, the top one's just divination. That's not very important. That 30 million one, that was from when Double XP Weekend started. So it just shows how much XP you've actually gained on Double XP Weekend. I'm pretty sure I gained about 10, 12 million. So I mean, since Double XP Weekend, I've gained about 20 million XP, which yes, I do realize some people gain every day. But for me, I think that's actually quite a lot considering that I basically only, my overall account's only at 148 million. However, at the start of the year, I only just hit 100 million, which is pretty insane to see that I've actually got 50 million XP, roughly about 10 million XP per month actually, this year so far. Not at all sure if that will continue or not, might even get better, we'll just have to wait and see. But the bottom one here is probably for me the most interesting one. When I arrived at Elf City, I didn't actually know that these harps were in here. So instead what I was doing, I was doing some other stuff around the city like the agility course for example. When I found out about this I was like, oh my god, free crafting. So I think it was maybe two days after I actually landed up getting into the Elf City. Came down here, set that XP counter up there. So that there, that 8.3 million basically crafting XP is what I've gained since I've arrived in the Elf City. So that just shows you, I mean, overall crafting XP, I've only got 9.6 million XP. So as you can see, coming into Elf City, I had about level 77, level, I must have had about 1.4 million XP. So you can just see how helpful the harp has been for me. And this is made a skill that can be very expensive. It could have cost you up to 100 million, maybe even more at times. Really depends on all the prices. And I guess when the bots from the game uh, hides were a lot cheaper, but I've saved myself so much money. Yes, it has taken me probably a few hours longer, but it has allowed me to AFK, which I do need to do. And I, th I think a lot of people don't really like using the heart for crafting just because it is so boring. And I do understand where they are coming from. But for me, it allowed me to AFK. And it just saves you so much money. I've landed up saving like 100 mil. And I'm going to get myself 99 crafting, which, to be honest, I was probably going to be again one of my last ones because it was a very expensive and not really useful buyable. Now, I was recording, but it turns out I missed a level. I've actually been talking in my friend's chat and I landed up going over to Twitter for a second. But there we go, that is the level. So if we just move out of here a second, we can now see that we are level 96. However, you can also see now that the remainder XP for this level to level 97 is over a million. That is absolutely mental. So I'm going to go ahead and reset this level XP target to 97 now. Now that is going to, that's over a million XP. I just cannot believe that a percentage is going to be 10k experience, which is absolutely nuts. Don't know how long that's going to take me. I think the last level took me about 30 weeks to get. All really depends on how much AFKing I will be doing. I guess though, I mean, I've came back to the harp, I took a wee bit of a break from crafting from the harp, but I've came back to it in recent weeks a wee bit more anyway. We'll just have to wait and see. Again though, I'm in no rush to get level, but that is level 96 and that is the second level of this episode. Now I do remember as well, I was talking about feeding in the last episode, not really trained that yet, but I probably will get back to training that again very soon. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm probably going to have to go back to where I have been for about the past hour or so. Go back to Runespan. Go ahead and finally get our last 3k. Hopefully that won't take us too long. And then we'll head up to Barb. Then what I'm planning on doing is actually going to go and do a dungeon with one of my subscribers. However, I'm not at all sure if I will get enough XP from the one dungeon. I only roughly have time for about the one dungeon. I'm right now level 90, I need 97k basically to get to level 90, but it really depends on what level or floor should I say I need to do it and he needs to do, but first of all we need to focus on this, so a quick tip, always buy runes when you arrive in here, because you usually want to be able to move from island to island as fast as possible. For me I just want to get to the upper tier as quickly as possible just because that's where most things my level are and they benefit me up there. I can do everything here but it's not as good XP rate down here and also stuff, uh, I suppose these are very good, these Nibluak here, these are very good and I'll probably actually stop to siphon that but in general just the upper tier for me is so much better and that's why I always buy the runes to get there as fast as possible to maximize the XP. All right, okay, so here we go. Here is the level. So it turns out I've not actually had to go to the upper floor. I guess that explanation about buying runes didn't really pay off because I'm not gonna be going up. There we go though, there's level 88. So I'm now three off my target for rune crafting, which is 91. 
for double nature wounds. 89, it's going to take me a wee while. I mean, 450,000 XP in this skill in general probably take me about 5 hours. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is save up more bonus XP because I'm not really going to do this skill without bonus XP because for me it is just too boring. Anyway, now time to go to Barbarian Fishing. Anyway, so now at Barbarian Fishing, I've not got my shark outfit because I'm only going to be here for about 2 minutes before I go away and do some dungeon kneading. But it just shows you, I mean, the shark outfit is so overpowered. It's really changed fishing totally. Now, Barbarian Fishing is the fastest fishing in the game. Maybe not, actually. Some people say that dungeon eating, certain floors in certain places can be faster. However, just in general, I would say that Barbarian Fishing is the fastest in the game. And overall, this place has never been so busy. Since the shark outfits came out, every single world you go on, you will find like 10 at least players. Okay, there'll be the occasional worlds at like 5am in the morning, where there will only be a few players, but there's always going to be... You're not going to find an empty world at Barbarian Fishing, which is pretty mental. Also, the fact as well is that the price of feathers has actually really changed over this period of time. If for some reason someone has like 100 million feathers, because people do have like 100 million feathers, 100 million needles, this sort of stuff, a ridiculous amount of stuff, then if it changes by 1 or 2 GP, then they make absolutely millions, and I mean hundreds of millions in some cases. Not at all sure why anyone would have 100 million feathers. I realise some people might have tens of thousands of feathers, but still, you are going to make a lot of money, because feathers did probably go up a good few GP when this outfit came out. Anyway, there we go, so I was lagged out there again, which seems to happen in RuneScape. Has happened quite a bit over the past few months. I'm not at all sure if that's my internet issue or if that's a server issue, but for a while I was lagging out a lot, and I know old school does have a very bad problem with that as well. I don't really experience it too much anymore, however there was a month, maybe two months ago, around about double XP weekend, especially in the double XP weekends, I was getting disconnected maybe every hour to every two hours that weekend, and I realised obviously that weekend was a very busy weekend, everyone was on, but around that time in general, I was just getting booted offline quite a bit, which was quite annoying. Anyway though, back to fishing, so here we are, we are now only 345 XP away from the level, and then we're going to have the surge for 90 as well. I'm not really in too much rush for 90 I guess you can say, but I do want to get it for this video. I don't think it's that a good money making method to be honest, I'm pretty sure it's only like 3-400k. Which, in terms of like competing it with combat, you make so much more money with combat doing something like Frost Dragons. But there we go, there is the level. So only need now 500k, which is actually a lot again. So I need 500k, now that'll probably take me about 6 hours to get, but I am looking forward to getting that level. However, Rock Tales, they don't excite me too much to be honest, never have, but because of the shark outfit, you know, I was like, I really should push to go ahead and get this level. Reset this to 90 now, and I guess we'll get to work on that skill probably in the next few days. Anyway, it's now time for me to probably head back to the Elf City. Just go back, and we'll head off to Demonheim. Alright, so you join me at Sinkholes right now. At the end of the last stop, I said I was going to Demonheim and go ahead and do some Sinkholes, or some dungeons, I guess, with a subscriber. Now, I went ahead and did them. That was actually a few days ago. This past week's just been really busy, so... Uh, this video is about five days apart from the last clip. I managed to get myself a large dungeoneering lamp. Didn't do it overall too well. It was very tight, this dungeon, actually. This is my first sinkhole probably in the best part of two months. I know I need to do a guide in this, and I will get around to it eventually. The whole list of all the videos I need to do is on my Twitch page, which is linked to below. That's the list I'm working through right now. However, back to dungeon eating. As you can tell, we're 42k away now, so hopefully if I go ahead and open this, I'm not quite there, which is really unfortunate. However, I'm not very far away, so what I might go ahead and do is actually very quickly just go ahead and rush through a dungeon, because I think I've got some very basic ones to go ahead and do. Alright, so there we go. So much for rushing through the actual dungeon. That's taken me 5 minutes 30, so it's not too bad time anyway. Hopefully I'll get the correct amount of XP. Not at all sure if I actually will. Hopefully we will. But I'm not very efficient with my time, what items I should have binded, X, Y, and Z. But there we go, we've got enough XP. I was hoping for enough XP. I managed actually to get a lot more than I thought we'd get 5k uh, for just level 1. But it was complexity 6, I suppose. I don't know why I just readied up there either. Um, I really need to do the task set actually for Demonheim as well. But a lot of them are really stupid. And a lot of them are things I would never do in dungeons. So I would have to, I don't know why I went for that portal either. 
A lot of the things I would have to go ahead and do uh, because I'd never do them normally and I wouldn't get it over time. And Demonheim, I mean, I don't think the rewards are actually too good for the Demonheim task set. Like, in general, the rewards, uh, bar the elite, really, or the extreme, not at all sure what the top tier rewards are for daily task sets. They're not actually that good, to be honest. I don't really do them unless they have, like, ridiculous rewards. So obviously, I did the Ardung set just because it has the really good cape, which is a great feeding bonus. Bar that, though, I've never really gone ahead and did it much of the daily tasks. I can't see myself doing the Demonheim ones anytime soon either. Anyway, though, back to Dungeon Eating. The skill itself, 90. Long last, finally. Wasn't much push for 90, to be honest. That's why them two skills at the bottom there have been left on 89 for quite a while. And I really should do Divination, but I've been saying that for about the past 30 months now. 90 though is a nice round number, I've got a lot of my skills to 90, I'm trying to get a lot of my skills to 90 as you know, runecrafting, divination, fishing, smithing, one or two others there that I'd like to get up to there as well, however they're not really there yet, but they will get there eventually. But there we go, that's level 90 now, I'll probably stop uh, dungeon eating for a while anyway, just because, well I, ha ha I have really stopped dungeon eating for a while. Um, but I guess I'm probably not going to get back into it too much, unless people want to do it, of course, and just hit me up, and I will sometimes be happy to go ahead and do it. But I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. I do apologise about there not really being an upload in the past week. Just, I've been busy, that's the bottom line, that's what happens. But I'll get back in the video grind this week, so thank you very much for watching. Please leave this video a like rating, subscribe if you're new around here. My name is Hightower5000, and I'm out. Adios.